Well, the move from film to digital is putting many family-run movie theaters out of business. That's right, and one theater here in the mountains is now scrambling to stay open. News 13's Ashley Searles is in the Rutherford News Center tonight. And Ashley, what's the theater trying to do to keep the lights on? Well, Frank, they're trying just about everything. It's a family-run place, and so it's a family that's trying to raffle off their car, working overtime, doing everything they can to beat the clock and keep those movies playing. Michael Packett and his wife had $12 left in the bank after buying Retro Cinema four years ago. I wanted to make sure that you know, my kids had somewhere to go and, and something to do. They painstakingly built the business. In comparison to what we did the first year, we are up uh, about 400 percent. It lost money at first, but as word got out and more tickets sold, last year it turned a profit, and this year, if it stays open, it would likely turn another. If it was something that we had done wrong as, as business owners, but that's not the situation here. Film distributors have chosen to switch to a digital format. Heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. You just... Uh. Hollywood's decision means that Packet and thousands of small theater owners nationwide will have to spend thousands to buy digital compatible projectors if they want to keep playing movies. Getting the loans from the bank is that the business is profitable, but it doesn't make enough money to support a $300,000 debt. For Packet, the idea of letting the business go is devastating. Since he found out everything was going on, he got turned down three different times for the loans. It's really tore him up inside. I know the good that this theater does for the community. Theater owners like Packet have until May to find the money to make the switch. And now the retro cinema family is using everything it has. I've got my 68 Super Sport Camaro. And everything they know. Daddy's not going to stop. He's not going to lose this theater. To raise the money and keep rolling. If you're interested in helping Retro Cinema raise money, you can check out our website at WLOS.com or you can just buy a ticket and see a movie there. Live in the Rutherford News Center, Ashley Searles, News 13.